Hello, welcome to Nutrition Therapy by Lucy. This is a channel where we talk about food, good nutrition and health. And also at the same time, we get to have inspirational stories. And today we are doing motherhood. And this is episode 2. Make sure, you make sure you follow up with the episode 1 so that you can get to understand what we are talking about. But before watching this one, make sure you hit on that subscribe button turn on the notification bell and also like this video because we are going to learn a thing or two. So Winnie, Karibu sana. Asante. Please introduce yourself. My name is Winfred Mwende. Mm -hmm. I am a mom of two, uh, two boys. Wow. Uh, my first born is three years and my second born is 10 months old now. Oh, yeah. Two boys. Yeah. How is it being a mom to boys? Eh. Yeah, I think boys, I think raising boys and girls, they are, I think Ville, I've learned and seen from my friends, mm -hmm. it's nini, boys become a little more aggressive, more ex, you know, ex, or they, they want to experience that. Munapatanga maboy and at Kapanda Panda, Sikama Madame. And yeah, nini, to girls tend to be more reserved, unlike boys. But it's, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's a great experience. Yeah, yeah. You know, being a mom of two, mm. I'd like to know your experience, mm. especially as a first-time mother. Hey, uh, I think raising my second born now and uh, what I did with my first born, mm. totally two different things. What changed? Um, I think now it's because I feel like people say I have more experience, even the way I handle my second born. People say, ah, who is it? And uh, the first one, unajua how do you and me say, mother would be a manual. It has no manual. You go by what you know. You learn as you go. So I think uh, it was it was a bit with my firstborn. It was a bit challenging because I didn't know a lot of things. Like when a baby cries, unanza kujulza ni diaper ano manatumbo. You start panicking. But with my second, ah, I, when najua kosawa and he starts, uh, you know, uto tu I know just he wants my attention. Sometimes nam patia time out. Sometimes I give myself time out and don't see frustrated yane. Mm -hmm. But with my firstborn, he likuani akili akidogo respond. Akini mwa so he grew, especially being too attached to me, sana. Uh, so with my second, it's it's a little more easier. I'd say it's easier. Mm. Okay, you can ignore the fact that we are celebrating that it is a breastfeeding week. Mm -hmm. I'd like to know, is, mm -hmm. was it natural for you? Because when I said like breastfeeding just comes naturally, how was it for you? Especially th the first born. I think, okay, for me, mm -hmm. it wasn't a struggle. Mm -hmm. Like for me personally, it wasn't a struggle ex except for the sore nipples. Me, I started producing milk when I was pregnant. The colostrum, me, I would wake up and find maziwa ko bed sheet but the fact that nilikuwa i have small breasts eh nilikuwa naulizo mtoto atashiba hii so i remember even my my in-laws then when the baby would get fussy they would say ni kushiba ashibi but tukienda clinic my baby used to add 2 kgs every month just exclusive bre i do the exclusive breastfeeding so alikuwa anambia muongezee uji niko like can a baby mwenye hashi be aongeze 2 2 kgs a whole month and uh, eh so uh, me for me it wasn't apart from the soreness but kulach is only things i had to study on my own especially me nilizalia in a public hosi and the nurses didn't care whether you know how to latch the baby well ni wewe eh eh wewe una deliver umeletoa mtoto so i think but nilikuwa nime study so nilikuwa najua what how to especially make sure ame latch vizuri nisikize the the way he sucks nini nilikuwa hizo ni mimi nilikuwa nimejisomea which mm. is very important for mothers mothers to be it's very mm. important how the baby latches on the breast mm. it reminds kama mtoto atashiba and also paying attention to those are clean so yeah because and it's a mess a girl sucking lots of air now mm. on the colic in a in and yeah. they get fussy mm. and they so it's very important to pay attention and also like a venya mesema do your research study mm. Mm. Nuliza watu kama doctors, nurses, yeah. nutritionists, yeah. how you can better or how you can do it better when you are mm. breastfeeding. And mm. also to clear the mm. the air, the mm. size of the breast does mm. not determine the, the amount of milk that you are going to make. Milk production, mm. the breast is just an out, <laughs> the outlet. <laughs> yeah, Maziwa true, true. Maziwa is something psychological. True. Yeah. Maziwa, mingi, mm. the size of the breast 
does not matter. Kuna watu they have mseme wako na boobs kubwa but milk production very rich. Can you decide don't worry if the size of your breast is small that does not mean you're going to have little or no breast milk. Yeah. So you ni kitu mzuri sana. Umefanya vizuri sana kwenye ume ibuzia. We used to think the baby is crying so I was shibi. I used to I used to wake up like nilikuwa sometimes I would express so that I can be able to sleep. So you nilikuwa na express na mwaga. I would wake I nil, was too much. It was too much. Nilikuwa na lala. Yaani he would I I my one breast was enough for him. So nilikuwa na lala usiku napata I'm soaked na maziwa na amka na toa na ekelea tawe la hapa chini. So I used to have lots and lots of milk. But according to people wanaangalia wanasema ai hey, sasa hii mtoto ana shiba aje. But ukienda I actually we remember tulienda kwa pediatrician because it was an issue and me i was for the exclusive breastfeeding because nilikuwa nimeingia especially online groups za motherhood winning like yeah so unikuwa nimeshajua and then unajua the way you go for clinics you are advised for to exclude so unajua now how they raised their kids and the way we are doing it wao walikuwa ah nafika mali unaanza kupea mtoto uji so mimi nilikuwa against it but when we went to the pediatrician he actually said the baby is okay he's doing fine me i never battled colic he was just some he was just a fussy baby okay. yeah okay, very important mm. since you didn't encounter breastfeeding issues mm. what were your challenges i think for me um challenges zilikuwa the expectations i had on motherhood mm-hmm. versus the reality it hit me oh, hard ilini hit yes for ground ilini hit vibaya in a way that i i i got ppd mm-hmm. at some point and i didn't know unajua you read unajua there's what they call postpartum depression and you go googling the symptoms versus what when it happens and you don't even know it is happening so i remember one time the baby would cry like he was generally a fussy baby and me i used to read nikwanaona how your moods your moods affect the baby in so many ways especially when you're pregnant so when you're not stable in your time your pregnancy you end up having a fussy baby so i kind of knew what was the issue because i knew how my pregnancy journey was but it's not something that i could share with my in-laws because nilizalia kwa my in-laws so ni kitu nilikuwa nimejinyamazia so nilikuwa najua the baby is fed ame amekula nimemchange diaper nini but he, he would he was just fussy he would sleep for 30 minutes and wake up so as we battled is those small small naps during the day but during the, the night alikuwa na la vizuri so i think ili end up ikakuja ikipile your frustration why is he fussy i don't understand how can i deal with it hakuna mtu akuniambia shika nipatie mtoto nikushikie you go take a nap so I remember one night unaamka analia instead of you know soothing them him in a gentle way unajipata ume umemshake ile vigo ras like what yani unakuwa frustrated i remember yani adi wishing si si wote tukufe bas badala ya ku struggle hivi vyote because and then you are surrounded but no one really understands the journey because now whatever they think of mother would and whatever maybe they are seeing is different from what you're feeling because here you're trying to jambe vile you, you're doing motherhood when the baby cries instinct you kwambia labda ni diaper because ulijua the last time uli change ama ni usingizi because you knew the last time he slept sasa shida ni wakati analia and everyone is like si mnyonyeshe and you know very well amenyonya so hiyo frustration hiyo unaona hiyo tu fr- like your mentally auko in a good place so it it ended up so i, I became frustrated naanza kujiambia ah mi hata afadhali nisinge za huu mtoto and ikafika tu mahali now i started having suicidal thoughts mm-hmm. yeah so i remember one day i woke up left the baby in the house with the dad during the covid times 2020 hiyo time ya curfew and me i was i went to be hit by a fast moving car yeah because i felt like i'm done yani nafika you wake up in the morning you don't want to do anything the baby supposed una unafaa mke umpikie uji but hauna hiyo nguvu and you know you are a mother you also playing the wife role mm-hmm. no one is hakuna mtu una amu kiambia mse especially mimi nikwambia ni kwa is to tell my the father of my kids then i need to see a therapist and people take it lightly i think that is what he did because unamwambia anaona ah sinono uko sawa you know with mental it has no signs yeah, 
ni ile tu unajua kabisa you're not in a good space to take care of this kid because you wake up and ask yourself unaamka naenda wapi hiyo uji hata upiki unakaa tu kwa bed mm-hmm. so it ili, ili catch up with me real quick and mm. for how long did you battle with the depression So me I remember the first time I started asking for therapy I'm a counseling assistance I, remember, I think the baby was three months old mm-hmm. now we had these baby blues you're not getting enough sleep ukila la kidogo hivi maybe a comment like we anapenda kulala sana you know it will just throw you off because you feel like these people don't understand me ama hiyo time unaambiwa wewe pia mtoto uji and this is that is not what you really want to do but, but because they tell you you have to do it because them they do it unajua that is why you say motherhood your motherhood journey is unique and uh, you know it is ni kama yani ime customizeiwa for you you can only do what you think is right for your baby guidance ni mzuri lakini you don't have to force your opinions on me fanya hivi ni kama nikoje nikwambia acha kuvalisha mtoto hii diaper na ninaona mimi kwake iko sawa unless kama iko na issues that is when you change so when they maybe they wanna ngeniambia pia mtoto uji and me tumeenda clinic mtoto ameongeza weight vizuri 2 kg in a month that is good i have enough like surplus it's not even in surplus yenye unaenda hapo siku inamwagika so i felt like they are not understanding my motherhood journey they are not respecting me as a mother because there's there's what you think you are helping someone and they kuna hiyo kupita mipaka so hiyo time ndo i started now raising the alarm hey i need to see a therapist but it was ignored so that hiyo time now i was thinking of now going sasa niende nikapigwa na gari kwa barabara my baby was one year up and th- I, i think five months uko four months uko yeah wow. so you can imagine all this while nile unajua i think depression it doesn't wake up and it inaku put down kabisa ni you have ni kama nitahitaje like emotions zina today you okay eh yeah. yes today you okay tomorrow mm yani uko tu hapa ni kama una swing in the mood swing is a state unajua kuna ile yenye unasema yenyewe i am happy na kuna ile yenye unasema i don't understand myself because in the morning you are happy by joni you are so frustrated you don't want to even to take a shower but you have to you don't ha- want to feed this baby but you have to so i think that is what depression for me did like ujielewi you wake up you don't understand yourself so that was the nasa say on the time you really realize wow something is happening like the fact that nimeacha mtoto kwa nyumba na sasa nimeamua acha mimi niishie that is when now i knew i was battling ppd wow mm. and since you didn't see a therapist mm. how did you overcome it why well, so i think now that was now with my first mm-hmm. so i was trying to salvage my relationship as well because the way it happened i, I took we are indifferent i'd say we are indifferent so nile now you in a relationship now the baby is here and now you're starting to see each other ni kama naked mm-hmm. and you go like ah, ah i didn't sign up for this how do i exit so ni sasa ikakuwa sasa iko na ikaongezwa hizo vitu zingine zote za relationship so i think by the time i was having my second born so after nearly realize after i went to be hit by that car i remember nilikuwa ni nimeshave nywele ani ujelewi Women self neglect you don't you don't like the image you see mm-hmm. when you look at yourself in the mirror you don't see yourself as a mother ama unafanya mothering but maybe if you're not appreciated someone telling you i know you're doing your best mm-hmm. you end up feeling like but there I'm, i'm just a useless mother so i think that time uh, see it didn't happen because an angel kwa barabara aliniona they talked to me nini nini friends so i started nikajiambia i must see the light hata kama sioni for now i must see the light so by the time i was getting pregnant with my second nilikuwa nimeshaanza kuji ile tu naanza kusema ku practice to the self care because with depression now you you even hate yourself so you start loving yourself seeing yourself as human seeing yourself as a mother who is doing the best that you think you know is the best so but when it came now for me healing truly came when i started writing mm-hmm. i do write on my social media pages 
I have a page and so that is when now I started writing how it was, how hard that um and dark that place was. So eventually nikenda nikipata healing. So right now I'd say I'm in a much much better place. Like now parenting my second born, I don't have is all emotions that I don't understand what I am doing. I feel like actually I'm in control of motherhood right now. So yeah. for you was totally therapeutic. It was because now I started seeking therapy online. Ile unaenda unaambiwa kuna mtu anajua you inbox them. My inbox especially that time hiyo mwaka nilikuwa mimi nikujaribu wase. Ama unapata mwingine they just send you a bible verse. It doesn't make sense. Mimi sema sometimes when you're battling these things you need practical practical know what the bible says not it shall be well i need to know how do i overcome this self hate is self sabotaging that i feel that i am not a good mother ni mtu akwambie every day maybe have a to do list of the things that you think you may fanya and i'm kasbu kuwa na ka routine uandike chini ujembe this is what i'll do in the day maybe and in there include something that you will do for yourself maybe ujembe today i'm going to step out take a walk with the kids maybe if you don't have a house help so those are the things i started doing naziandika jioni naenda naangalia na i did so with that way naza na i did something and like ile unajuliza bethe ni machine ni kidu you just realize umeko ukifanya tu viombo na ni viombo hata hujamaliza because asubuhi utahitaji kufusha viombo saa saba utahitaji kufusha viombo jioni utahitaji kufusha viombo so is of to when you do like a to do list go in the evening check check on it you realize i'm doing something and you start appreciating yourself even when no one else is so i'm a, I'm a good mother i farm those things i am a good mother i am doing like i nanga manual at to say it has to be like someone else's ama you have to be in control of your emotions mimi lijambi it's okay mimi jambi it's okay to be frustrated you you're human so when my kids frustrate me i have learned especially with my first but mimi mwambia rin umenikasili umenikasirisha sorry rin umenikasirisha Mrs. Ki mimi umeni umeni umefanya hivi umenivunjia hii nimekasirika unajua nikimwambia hivyo badala ya kumgonga ataenda akijua oh kombe that's yeah that's bad mom was upset so ni melan kuji express hata kama haelewi i know when you express yourself kuna vile una feeling uko relieved badala ya unajua utajiambia elewi so namwambia nini mimi mwambia akireni usichafue hapo mimi nimechoka leo kuosha hii nyumba So najipata with time kanaenda kakijua unaona kakimaliza kukula kanajaribu kuokota okota so nimelearn kujua it's okay to be frustrated especially now that I'm doing it all alone me jambi I'm giving myself all the grace mm. wow mm. kama usomi from from really so you know what you are doing mm. and so we need and we've talked about the the signs mm. you, know, you, you mm. can't tell if you are mm. depressed mm. but there are some red flags yeah. for mothers even mothers to be they can check out one kama mtu ana ana develop the depression mm. what are some of those warning signs one uh, when you're not resting enough mm-hmm. during the day you become so lethargic yani you unasikia una easy easy burnouts mm-hmm. like you wake up me I'd wake up and realize si jatosheka na usingizi but i can't go back what do you do you push yourself tomorrow you push yourself but hakuna siku yenyewe you say today i'm not doing anything i'm am today i'm going to source for help i just sleep may didn't do that so nilikuwa amka na jipush na amka na jipush so na jipata the sleep pattern pia inakuwa inakuwa affected because you need especially come on a breastfeed you need to rest eat well hydrate so that you can have plenty of milk sasa wakati hata you cannot do these things uwezi rest enough unaanza kupata mtoto hashibi mtoto asiposhiba anaenda kukua pfasi mkianza kufra sasa hivi now you start frustrating one another because wewe uko na nini so i think that was for me and also sasa now i started realizing especially for mothers you need to practice your calm mm-hmm. being calm even when a baby is throwing tantrum me and look at rain and i'm like hm. najiambia kwa akili let me give him your time akimaliza we can talk it out because when you're not calm you are angry the next thing go talk hapa mshipa tena wala mama acha kunisumbua i don't have sisi i don't have those moments i have them and i'm learning to work around them 
sasa ni melan ku practice na jambi it's not about me it's about them not nini so hiyo uki notice umeanza kukuwa easily frustrated especially with a small baby you know a small baby doesn't understand they just need you to be there for them so mi usema it's okay to ask and say i need to rest i need to rest if you can have someone come help take care of the kids as you maybe take a nap take a power nap ama utoke go maybe get your hair done unajua you even forget about yourself me remember unaambiwa jesa how no your hair ends up looking like mama wazimu and me ujiambia your confidence comes from when you look good so when as a mother unajiangalia unajiuliza t-shirt au javabra umeshinda the whole day mimi niko ashinda na night dress the whole day sasa jioni ni kuoga tena ni by night dress so sina ile time I, I even sit at the mirror and admire myself so naanza kujichukia nini ni so i'd say for me the is of flags ni unajipata you're getting worked up small things they just work you up so bad mtoto amekata kulala ina ku work up unaanza kukasirika umeanza nini ume yani unajipata sasa until now you break down you start crying because no one is understanding what you're going through so It's okay to ask for help when you feel like everything is becoming overwhelming and it's okay to let the dishes stay there the whole day. No one will beat you. Unajua? The bus. Me struggled with perf- I used to struggle with perfection. Not even I I used to have OCD. Now OCD with a child. So I have to make sure the dishes are done. Lazima ni sugue sufuria. But this cuz imagine hizo sufuria si lazima zisuguliwe. So me Jambia, I don't feel like doing the dishes, it's okay. Because the more you struggle with perfectionism, your perfectionism, unajipata it is draining you. So it's okay the days that you feel like you need to take a rest, you can let everything. Nini, hiyo siku naweza amwa, acha bethe, acha tukule chipo leo. Hakuna hakuna nothing will happen when you don't make lazima upike food kila saa, asubuhi mauji, saa nne, nini nini nini. It's okay to ask for if you have good friends ama Uh, supportive family ask for help if your partner is also you know understanding they can you know help do the do not stress at yet as you share we acha o share pike mkule you sleep just make sure you have enough rest i, I can't say hours because now with motherhood una mlala two hours umeamka so me likuwa ni hiyo and then i think the suicidal thoughts ama unajiambia tu ama ama tunaweza kufa ama tunaweza ama Mungu tu you take us in your sleep who thinks like that life is so precious so is your thoughts and i think i've had people tell me maybe they don't understand yani kwa nini mtoto afanyi hivi do not compare your baby with anyone else it could drain just realize that your motherhood is unique to your own so work with that Maybe comparing kids something that frustrate mothers yeah. when you are looking for milestones yeah but yeah that can frustrate mm. mothers mm. now we need mother who does chat mm. for you maybe in your career or your social life kuna kitu ile sema kwa hmm definitely <laughs> because now your even your circle of friends changes like you have to work with people who resonate with your journey see mtu labda atakwambia yeye una na hailewi mtoto nini also kidogo ni kama you kind of step back from who you are like the girl the girl who had dreams so unajipata now your focus is motherhood maybe being a wife na nini so ni kama unajisahau kidogo like unaona vile unakuwa na aspirations i did sport science so unapata oh i wanted to be an gym instructor kitu kama hiyo so ni kama kidogo unazieka chini so that you can focus and me the space that i was in especially in matters of relationship um sikuweza like pursue hizo ni ni, 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 ni ni kama mimi nilisink tu kwa motherhood na nikakaa tu hapo eh, so a lot changed even the way now you think because now you're no longer like me jambia now you become responsible for a life that you chose to procreate so now na so it changes it changes in a way that it challenges you for growth it challenges you to think better especially for me that is where now i started now thinking of how i was parented how i turned out and who i want to parent ndo nikajipata i need to be intentional with it so now i started now learning more 
on motherhood how to parent better so na part of the things that you read your social media spaces mostly groups then you know is a motherhood you pregnant and nursing moms so it changes it kind of changes but mujiam it's important not to forget that girl because once you do that girl mujiam be like me me being me the who you see now is as a result of that kagal if that kagal is neglected winje utaona ni na imejiachilia if i take care of that girl you see the way we girls love chocolates doing your hair ukisahau wako comes chana ukiwa mama even outwardly unakuwa tu mama una ukilan ku take care and uh, you know kuka yani ni kama kukajaribu yani kuka keep alive ka blossom so you you remember what what did you used to love like for me i used to be a very outgoing person nikanyamaza i became so reserved until same you juliza who was i back then because nilinyamaza i used to be people know me no i'm very talkative i was i am i used to i have been an extrovert for the longest until nilika realize oh kumbe i have this introverted side of me so nikaanza sasa sasa ndo nimeanza i have my dreams i have uh, Uh, I used to I used to have like good command in English so that is when when I started writing that is when people started realizing oh come you have a talent I didn't know it I didn't honestly I didn't know so ndo nikajipata so now I'm t- learning to take care of that girl and it's it makes motherhood easier yeah so that is what has changed for me oh, wow mm. it's, a, it's mm. a good story yeah and now the good side of motherhood seeing your babies the joy of a mother yeah. how is it for you yani it's fulfilling in a way sometimes mi ukete chini i just look at them and kuna zile moments you realize wow i'm doing a good job like maybe when 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 uh, the, the my two kids are playing and maybe my son ame ame unaona ana maybe mdogo akianza kulia anamwambia acha baba kusumbua mam usichafulie mam hiyo kitu yake you realize oh so so my eldest knows these are isn't if tuzama zina fazi chungwe and then you realize wow i'm doing something better ama um, something good that is ama maybe ukitembea and uh, people like notice your kid ameva vizuri and even hiyo ku make sure to make a vizuri you realize you're doing something but me jambia but while at it don't forget yourself because you tend to forget you unapata mama ame parent watoto anakaa vizuri lakini yeye the last time alijibaia hata nguo ya ndani hata mwaka imeisha so nimekuja ku realize ni ni poa and you, you know it makes you feel fulfilled when you see them and kuna zile heart melting nini unajiambia i'm glad i chose nini to have you and for me ujiambi even the level of growth that i have right now it's because of them i have to ch- i had to challenge myself in order to to be a better mom for them and uh, nikiangalia naona kumbe it was a blessing in this case so ni, ni it's 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 a fulfilling journey especially once now you stand ukianza sasa kujua how to balance motherhood and yourself it's an awesome journey especially for now me I cannot complain honestly with my second imekuwa so easy sometimes me kana juliza wow where did the time go So I think ni melan ku balance so nikiangalia naona we need I'm doing a great I mute jambia thumbs up mm-hmm. we need I wake up in the morning na jiangalia kwa mira I affirm myself that I am a good mother I am a loving mother I am a kind mother I am a calm mother na nimeona iki ikikuja ina translate to the nini so it's fulfilling very also mm-hmm. as much as motherhood the connection is just okay I think zile vitu na get to well, to celebrate you're saving the kids mm. is mingi ni mingi kuliko the challenges ni mingi ni mingi mm-hmm. especially i think for me this year um, my 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 first one we nilimzana club food mm-hmm. it was hard do your casting face like they have to cast the yeah. leg then upatu your braces now that is why he was even a fussy baby because it was uncomfortable for yeah, him true. but when uh, to mend a clinic yake juzi and uh, we have not experienced a relapse for the last two years kuna time to record my experience a relapse na ni time yenye nilikuwa huko hiyo time ninakwambia i was depressed because now you stop doing these things you don't make sense of them ah jambia mtoto anasumbua chani mtu hiyo kiatu nikiangalia na jambia even those nights i used to wake up nimetoka kunyonya shoe mdogo na have kuamka kucheku mwingine mara mbili tatu nimvalisha kiatu sometimes i start crying vile tulienda juzi nikapewa review that the food is doing well we have no relapse 
nikajembe we need you doing a great job because it has a uh, yani sasa hizo ndo moments mimi ukana jipiga makofu na eh sasa sasa ina gm i wrote i wrote about it i wrote about my club food journey even on a page i think it's a it's called winning feeding and dream i wrote about that club food journey kuna time nilikuwa najiuliza tutai unajua it goes for five years tutai fika huko how will it be? because it was frustrating frustrating mtoto analia you sasa uko na option either mtoyo kiatu mlale vizuri ama sasa uachane mpambane na hiyo hali sasa na sasa time nilipata second born but I'm still trying to explain he shouldn't afai kutoa kiatu sikujua alikuwa analala anajitoa so ni utoke kunyonyesha huu mdogo uende kwa huu mwingine unarudi kulala kidogo unanyonyesha so it was first vile niliona tukapewa that the, ah three years mm-hmm. ah nilijiambia wini ah tuko sawa tuko sawa nikienda clinic nisikio mwingine atujakata weight tuko sawa na jiambia tu we are good we are doing good those are the moments that the ni melan ku celebrate the birthdays na jiambia ah kama tumetoka huko mbali we are still going far so that those are the highlights for me so as much as una una encounter any challenges it's always good to celebrate those small things yeah. celebrate yourself is a milestone you're making is yeah. always important mm. you celebrate them mm. so when you like you to talk to that mother mm. when you already maybe ana ana amejipata kwa depression ama hata achi what's happening to her mm. Mm. please talk to them uh, i think for me someone told me learn to give you, yourself the grace that you expect other people to give you like usikujo expect mtu akwambie we need thumbs up and you not thumbs upping up yourself una get you need to clap your, for yourself ujambe you're doing a great job even before someone else notices and when you start doing that you realize people start noticing it and when it comes to feeling like you're feeling it's normal it's normal i have been there not once not twice but the moments that you find you're doing in jipigie makofi because i won't tell you that you to have those moments that you feel like you're not doing your best and also the silly moments now you feel like you don't understand yourself sick sick ongea start talking it out mimi nilikuwa nimenyamazia and when i started journaling them and writing that is when now i started overcoming na nikaanza kufunguka so whatever works for you maybe it could be talking to your partner talking to your family but it they have to be people who understand you see what what to judge so me for me the only space that i had since now my my partner sasa nilikuwa nimesha toka kwake ilikuwa tu ku write i don't have a family that i can go back to i didn't have friends who understood me so nilijipata mimi nilianza tu ku write healing my healing journey and no one should tell you how to heal especially when you're recovering from ppd if you feel like you have to cry for a whole week do it but once you're done make sure you dust yourself up and nini lakini si mtu akuja akwambia ah ufai ku yeah ofa you feel nini it's okay to beat yourself up but don't dwell on those moments learn to take life vile ina come if you feel like you need to slow down when it comes to motherhood slow down if you feel now now sasa ni time ya kukimbia kimbia mimi ujiambia hivyo kuna weeks za nyemziu kuwa marathon na natoka nimemaliza na kazi nimeenda kuuza mtumba usiku ndio mimi huona faa kufanya classes ni anze kufanya writing in and even for a whole week the next week sasa so, sikiki so, so, kufanya anything na hiyo wiki i allow myself to rest so have your rest days talk to someone make sure you eat well hydrate 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 i cannot even right now i'm learning to hydrate and it makes it makes a whole difference it makes a whole difference by the way at a time when you have frustrations hydrate ni kama you could refresh up even showering people take showering ni kama kitu naingia tu sha 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 but showering for me the days that nasikia ni kama ni slow ni amke ni take a shower i dress up very nice i feel good nasikia ni kama ni on top of the world it's very therapeutic so ni melan the small things that wana semanga the joy comes in the small things imagine you don't need to have at a house help ndio uone mother who didn't make sense i don't have a house help myself but hiyo me time nya me ujipatia ya ku make sure i shower kama ni maji moto oga nayo jikande maliza paka lotion yako arimisi yako you feel good and when you're confident you're able to handle daily tasks za motherhood na nini nini so if you feel like kuna hizo times now now you feel like mtoto anakufrustrate talk it out have create a space that supports you like 
be in that space it's very important ask for any land to ask for help there's no shame in asking for help so that is what i do when i can but most of the time me learn to cook one a way to money you don't have to have a timetable me i tell people it's okay to wake up at 11 when you are a mother na jo tumezo ya society tells you you wake up at 7 have breakfast and nini so not pato ko frustrated because you are trying to keep up with that schedule it's okay to wake up at 11 and have breakfast come lunch at that time don't beat yourself because uelewi routine yako aiendanishi na ya wengine work with what you need sometimes i do laundry at night na yanika asubuhi ama na for usiku na nika usiku ndio mchana ni rest so whatever work f- works for you do it it's just for a short while before you know it kids watakuwa wamesha grow yeah okay. yeah i think when you you're so deep <laughs> and i'm sure mm. kuna a lady outside there angetaka kukuongelesha maybe in private mm. or maybe physically where mm. can people find you Uh, I have I have okay my youtube channel Badu Jagro but mostly it's about motherhood and the things I'm learning with intentional parenting especially come, maybe for example why it's not okay to beat your kid in the name of discipline mm-hmm. these are the things I I want to talk about so you can find me at Winnie all round on youtube mm-hmm. but my social media facebook that is Instagram uh, Instagram siuko sana but Facebook sana sana niko na page ni to with all round as well na niko na now my personal now the normal account Winfred Mwende you can search there I think Mwende Winfred Mwende Winfred yeah and so that has been Mwende's Mwende's <laughs> motherhood story make sure you um, watch his story so you can share your your motherhood story on the comment section and also make sure you hit on that subscribe button give this video a like share so that we can learn as mothers mm-hmm. until next time it's a bye bye